Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nico here, and in this video, we made a Moon Knight mask. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, what's up? Nico here. Yes, I know. I was MIA for a few months, um, and, but I'm back. That's all that matters. I'm back. And in this video, we made a Moon Knight mask. Um, this uh, was inspired by what's going to come up on the Disney Plus channel. Um, Moon Knight is a, he's like a, like a white Batman, not like white, like Caucasian, but like white, white Batman uh, in the Marvel Universe. So we did a concept. This is a Nico Industries original mask. So we did a concept of it. And so now um, we made it and I 3D printed it and we're going to go straight to the slicer first and then we're going to come out and I'll show you guys uh, more about it. All right. So Moon Knight, um, this thing's pretty, pretty straightforward right here. Um, as always, nothing in the center. Um, I did put supports in the back here. Um, reason for that is because I, it's really flat and I'm not comfortable um, just bridging that, especially because it's a flat surface up here. Um, and I just, you're better safe than sorry. So I did that. And then um, underneath the jawline and the chin to give it a nice base, uh, something to to build upon. And then underneath the eyes. Also the eyes to me felt um, like it was really flat. And so I just put supports under there um, just to make sure that it, 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 it does well. Um, so that's the support part, and this is going to be done on my Anacubic Chiron. It's going to be printed at 0.2 millimeter layer height, um, you know, 3600 per minute, and at 210. Um, I'm going to be using the Nico Industries Hot Rod Red. And so let's go ahead and throw this on a printer, and yeah. All right, so that's how you orient it. Um, Yes, I did the eyes this time because it, it's really, really flat. And if I feel like if I didn't, it was just going to droop and it was just going to fall. It wasn't going to print properly. Um, I actually should have put some supports on the side right here too, but I didn't. Um, anyway, so this was uh, made with the Nico Industries Hot Rod Red. Um, the Silk PLA, man, I love this filament. Not because it's mine, but it actually prints really, really well, you guys. It's really, really smooth and I love the way it came out. Um, and I use a chalk white, one second, um, a chalky finish white is the paint that I use by Krylon. I got this at Lowe's um, because Lowe's is now the closer um, hardware store to me. If you guys notice by the backgrounds, I've had like three different backgrounds because I've, I've moved uh, a bunch of times since I started this channel. Anyway, so this is the white that I use. Um, this has primer in it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I just went straight from the PLA to this and it came out great man um, and I do have to mention that this file is for free all you guys have to do is go to nicoindustries.com and um, wait for the pop-up pop-up will come up give me your email address I'm gonna send you the link and you'll get the, the file for free um, it's kind of like an apology <laughs> for being gone for so long um, but yeah you guys um, it's uh, I know it, it, I was gone for a long time, but it's a great file. It, it, it fits perfectly. It just, it's, a, it's a great file. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you again for your support. Thank you for watching. If you guys are, um, if you can like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. Please subscribe. And that's all. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.